As we all know, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy released last year of 2017 in June. It is now 2018 and we're back to square one. Now, as most of you might know, my channel was primarily focused on the Crash series prior to it coming back. I would talk about rumors, I would talk about leaks. I was a gullible little kid back then and I would just like to have fun discussing these things whether they were legit or not. However, now that we've actually gotten something new with Crash Bandicoot in recent years, or in the past year really, um, there's nothing else to talk about with the series and honestly I don't feel like I can really talk about uh, the same thing over and over and over again to the point where it's interesting because honestly I feel like if I keep doing that you guys are just going to eat it up and it's just going to be me beating a dead bandicoot. However, I don't want to keep doing that. I want to do something new. Um, I'm probably going to go back to when I used to discuss about topics similar to kind of how this video was. And soon I probably will bring back the Jerry Play series. I'm only really going to bring that back if I'm really feeling like doing a series on the game. However, I do want to keep doing discussions on the channel. But it's it's hard. It's hard uh, dealing with, um, you know, the kind of support that I get on videos that aren't related to Crash Bandicoot as well as how YouTube is these days, which is why I've been on another platform known as Twitch. If you don't know what Twitch is, it's pretty much a site where people can live stream anything they want. It's not centered mainly around gaming. Uh, it's more so where you can play games and interact with viewers and just to do whatever, really, you know, as long as it's not bad. But yeah, if you're not following me on Twitch, I'd highly recommend you do that. Also, as for my Nostalgia or Not series, that kind of morphed into the newer type of reviews that I've done for the games like A Hat in Time, Cuphead, and Bloody Roar 2. So I'll still look at some games, but don't look at the reviews as Nostalgia or Not because that's not what it is. But yeah, I'm not going to make this video too long. I just pretty much wanted to kind of clarify to y'all that we're back at square one. Even though we did get something new with Crash Bandicoot, it's not enough, you know? It's not enough to really discuss the series on. Um, I've done as much as I could when it came to the Insane Trilogy. And for some reason, I'm at 8,400 subscribers, even though I wasn't really active for about a week, which is weird. But yeah, my drive has been extremely low. But I just wanted to clarify to y'all that, you know, we're back to where we started when Crash was inactive. And Crash is inactive again. And... The Crash Twitter, it, it really only posts things about the Insane Trilogy. I don't even know why the page is not even called Insane Trilogy because that's all it can post about. It's, it just seems automated and boring and everything's just boring about Crash now because nothing new is going on. So until like the next year or two when something probably does happen, there's really not much to discuss about unless something new pops off. And I don't want to talk about Spyro either because while I do have the games, I'm not too much of a big fan of the series enough to talk about it. So if I were to talk about it, I'd probably need someone to tag along with me in the video. So, yeah. I don't know what y'all want. Uh, it's, it's hard. It's hard. But yeah. Um, we're back at square one to a dead end.